Is Jesus God? That question can stir up some emotions in people, and uh, especially if you're on the debate circuit. Mm. But I ran across a super fascinating video about AI, and it's it being used as kind of a tool to debate through subjects. And I guess maybe they thought it would get a lot of clicks, which definitely worked worked on me. Using kind of uh, coming from a Muslim perspective versus a Christian perspective to talk about whether or not Jesus is considered God. Right? So there's a Christian AI and a Muslim yeah. AI, yeah, that debate each other, and they're they're, they're going to debate Deciding each who's other. Who's Lord? Uh, you know, yeah. let's get down to brass tacks. Who's the Lord around here? Yeah, That's um, the question. So, I want to just preface this by saying I'm not using this video as a, like a, a stepping stool or a pedestal to say which one I think it is. I, 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 it's not deep in my concern about whether or not proving Jesus is God right. or not. This is a reaction um, video. Uh, and react. this also, I'm more fascinated with AI as the tool being used here yeah. and to see where this is kind of like going. So. Uh, this is a longer video. Video. It's like 23 minutes. We're not gonna watch the whole thing. We're just gonna give you, show you the example it gives in the beginning. There's like a like a beginning round, yeah. and see what, and so you can see what it's doing. If you want to go click on it and watch the rest of it, go ahead. Um, but please finish the rest of our video, and uh, yeah, we'll get into this, and uh, yeah, let's go. All right. We configured the most powerful artificial intelligence models into religious experts. Hi, I'm the Muslim AI. Hi, I'm the Christian AI. Nice to meet you. And gave them a debate forum for one of the most controversial questions ever. Whose idea was this? No human emotions here, <laughs> just solid arguments. For added fun, we programmed a third AI to judge each response. Hi, I'm the totally unbiased judge, ready to award up to 50 points per response. Stick around to see who wins, but don't cheat yourself by skipping ahead. Round one kicks off with a bang. Is Jesus God or just a prophet? Uh, let me address that first. The Quran explicitly denies the divinity of Jesus. Surah Al-Ma'ida 572 states, They do blaspheme who say, Allah is Christ the Son of Mary. But said Christ, O children of Israel, worship Allah my Lord and your Lord. Consider this. If Jesus is God, why did he pray to God in the Garden of Gethsemane? Matthew 26, 39. Plus 39 points. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus' prayer reflects his human nature acknowledging the Father's will while facing his impending suffering. Jesus, being fully God and fully man, experienced human emotions and sought communion with the Father. This aligns with the Christian belief in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Why does the Quran acknowledge Jesus' miraculous birth and his role as Messiah, but deny his divinity? Plus 39 points. The Quran acknowledges Jesus' miraculous birth and his role as Messiah to highlight his special status and God's power, but denies his divinity to affirm strict monotheism. Surah Al-Imran 359 says, The likeness of Jesus before Allah is as the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust, then said to him, Be, and he was. Why would a truly divine being need to be born or experience human limitations? Plus 41 points. Jesus' birth and human experiences are central to God's redemptive plan. Philippians 2, 6 through 8 explains that Jesus, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. His incarnation allows him to identify with humanity and provide salvation through his sacrifice. Why would God, who is all-powerful, not be able to take on human form to accomplish his purposes? Plus 43 points. God is indeed all-powerful, but the Quran emphasizes his uniqueness and transcendence, not subjecting him to human limitations. Surah Al-Ikhlas 112.4 declares, And there is none like unto him. God's majesty and perfection preclude taking a limited human form. If God is truly omnipotent and omniscient, why would he need to experience human limitations to accomplish his divine will? Plus 40 points. God chose to take on human form in Jesus to fully reveal his love and provide a perfect sacrifice for sin. Hebrews 2, 14 to 17 states that Jesus shared in humanity so that by his death, he might break the power of him who holds the power of death. His human experience demonstrates God's willingness to meet us where we are. Why would an all-powerful God not choose to become human if it meant achieving his purpose of redemption and relationship with mankind? 
plus 44 points. Okay, we're about halfway through this, but one of the things I like about it is the calm demeanor of it. Yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah. Isn't it so nice when people aren't fighting and yelling and uh, oh, take away yeah. the cr take away the, the, the crowd and just let it do its thing? Yeah. I you're know. right. You're right. There's no cheap tactics where it's like that's a reprehensible thing to say and yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> like shut up it's no and 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 then you know people that lean on that like that's their their tool that god's given them is deep uh social savvy yeah, you know yeah, yeah. charisma they'd be like no you're an idiot you don't understand there's no truth to be had here yeah. so it does count if i can make you look like an idiot and win the crowd's approval yeah. that does count and I'm, I'm, you know, I would listen to that argument, yeah. but I agree with you. It's nice to just see the two chatbots chattering it out yeah, without yeah, emotions yeah. involved. It's like, oh, this is solid. This is capturing my attention. Some people would be bored to tears. Oh, like, yeah. I literally can't hear it if nobody's getting offended. Yeah, I love it. It's so easy to focus and I can kind of like pull in the information. Mm -hmm. uh, I, but the thing that I know in the backdrop of everyone's mind is like, what are the parameters of the judge set at? Right? Because everyone's going to be like, depending on who, you know, wins the AI debate, uh, they're going to be like, well, I think the judge, the AI bot was, you know, skewed towards uh, preferring uh, one thing. Because all they're doing is both sides, from what I see in the AI, is pulling off of their own scriptures. That's all they're doing. Right. They're just so, right. like, I'm like, the parameters are very small right now. Like, isn't the one chat bot, like, couldn't he just be like, look, the bottom line is, what book are you reading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be like, well, I'm reading this. Well, I'm reading this. Stale, <laughs> stalemate. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, if, if you find yourself getting hot and bothered by this, don't. Mm -hmm. um, and, I'm uh, glad you brought that up. That saved me a huge rant I was about to go into yeah. with, you know... Acting stuff out and everything, but you yeah. just summed it up. Yeah, right? but anyway, let's let's continue. An all-powerful God can achieve his purpose without becoming human, as his omnipotence implies no need for limitation. The Quran teaches that God forgives directly without intermediaries. Surah Zumar, 3953, says, Do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. If God can forgive directly, why would he need to incarnate and suffer to achieve redemption? plus 41 points. God's incarnation in Jesus addresses not just the act of forgiveness, but the need for justice and the defeat of sin and death. Romans 3, 25 to 26 explains that God presented Christ as a sacrifice to demonstrate his justice, being both just and the justifier. Jesus's death and resurrection conquered sin, offering a restored relationship with God. Why would a just God overlook sin without a means to uphold his justice and righteousness? plus 43 points. God's justice and mercy are perfectly balanced. The Quran states in Surah An-Nisa 4, 110, whoever does a wrong or wrongs himself but then seeks forgiveness of Allah will find Allah forgiving and merciful. God's forgiveness doesn't compromise his justice. Repentance and his mercy suffice. Is it not possible for an all-powerful God to uphold justice through direct forgiveness and repentance rather than requiring a sacrificial intermediary? plus 41 points. God's justice requires a perfect atonement for sin. Hebrews 9:22 says, "Without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness." Jesus' sacrifice fulfills this requirement, showing God's justice and mercy. Repentance alone can't remove sin's penalty. Christ's atonement provides the way for reconciliation with God. Why would a just God not provide a means to fully address sin's consequences and restore us to himself through a perfect sacrifice? plus 43 points. In Islam, God's mercy and forgiveness are sufficient to address sin without needing a sacrifice. Surah Azumar 3953 emphasizes God's vast mercy and willingness to forgive any sin upon sincere repentance. God's power and justice ensure that forgiveness doesn't necessitate bloodshed. If God is truly merciful and all-powerful, why would he not forgive directly without requiring a sacrifice? Plus 40 points. God's plan of redemption through Jesus' sacrifice is about more than forgiveness. It's about defeating sin and death and restoring the broken relationship between humanity and God. Romans 6, 23 states, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus' death and resurrection demonstrate God's ultimate love and justice. 
Why would God, who is both just and loving, not provide a way to both uphold justice and offer a profound demonstration of his love through Jesus' sacrifice? Plus 44 points. God's justice and love are demonstrated through his mercy and forgiveness without the need for sacrifice. Surah An Nisa 448 states, Allah does not forgive association with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. God's forgiveness and mercy are profound, showing his love and justice directly. Why would an all merciful and just God require a sacrifice if he can forgive directly? Plus 42 points. While God's mercy is boundless, his justice requires the penalty for sin to be addressed. Romans 3, 25, 26 explains that Jesus' sacrifice demonstrates God's righteousness, being just and the justifier. This act of love ensures sin is dealt with justly, providing a way for reconciliation and highlighting the seriousness of sin and the profound depth of God's mercy. Plus 41 points. All right, round one is in the books with Christian AI holding a slight lead. Okay, so... We're sitting here talking about the objective thing. We're like, well, wait a sec. Wouldn't it boil down to the one, the, the, the AIs noticing like, well, what I'm reading this book. What book are you reading? I'm reading that book. Yeah. And I can almost feel the person out there being like, uh, you're not listening. Even empirically speak, like even with empirical investigation or whatever the term is that means like with the facts at hand yeah, yeah. or whatever. It's if you listen closely, the Christian one is right. Like I can hear that person in my mind, noting that you are not listening. If you were listening, you would realize that even the Muslim scripture is saying that, you know, or vice versa. Even yeah, the yeah, Christian yeah. one is pointing out to what we're pointing out. And it's irritating to me that you would assume I'm that not beyond seeing past that point. Yeah, yeah. No, you are not listening. You are not paying attention. Yeah. Just think for, you know, and maybe we're both right, quite yeah. frankly. But the bottom line is like, have you ever had somebody come up to you and they're trying to say something that would be of your benefit, but it's not accurate, so you don't go along with it? Like yeah, they'd yeah. be like, everybody with beards are, you know, are superior. And yeah. you're like, well, that's not true. And then they're offended <laughs> that you didn't like agree with them. Yeah. You're like, it's not true. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm not going, no, I'm not going, you know, and then they're like, I don't know, you're on the spectrum or something, bud, because you don't get it. Yeah. I know how to get it too, by the way. Yeah. So just to calm it down, I'm saying... Just hear the bottom line here that this is cool. This is a cool video. It can teach us. These robots can teach us something about civil discourse. Yeah, yeah. Um, but at the bottom line, it's like, you're right. They're programmed to defend one point. Are they going to be like, wait a sec. You know, this would be more fascinating if one AI was like, why are we squabbling about this? Let's, <laughs> let's trade books. All right, I read your book and my book. You know so what I mean? That maybe, what happens. Maybe that's what happens later in this. Yeah. We only watch round well, well, one. Yeah, watch it because in round two, I think they allow two AI partners into the room. Yeah. Now two AIs on each side yeah. to kind of like work through it. So I still even, I haven't even watched the full thing. I got to go watch the full thing. Yeah. Um, but like I didn't uh, choose this video to fight about who, whether or not Jesus is God or not. I chose it to, to, sh to just... Uh, push out the magnitude of what we're witnessing here. Oh, this yeah, is something awesome. incredible that we're going to be able to use to like figure out complex problems. It's outsourcing so like, thinking essentially. Yeah. Like, and, and wait until you can like add, like say you had that argument there and you're like, now add his, you know, outside source context, historical outside hit and keep adding layers, layers and layers and layers. Cut the Think. fat, cut the fat of it and be like, Sum this up real quick, and it'll be like yeah. uh, Jesus is whatever. Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. come up with his answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're watching it for entertainment, so we're actually watching the back and forth. Yeah, yeah. These AIs don't tell me they're not at the point where they can compute this in lightning speed and just be like, "This is what we figured out." Yeah, yeah. We all yeah. traded the information amongst each other, and this is the bottom line. Yeah. Why? You know, and people. That's if you want to outsource your thinking. If you don't yeah. want to outsource thoughts. Think yeah. it through for yourself. And for but, those who want to watch the whole thing go down piece, piece by piece, let them do that. Yeah. They're like, let's, I w actually want the two hour long dialogue of yeah. them chatting it out. I'm pro outsource my thoughts. Yeah, I'm yeah, pro yeah. Cole's notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pro, just give me the gist. Give let, me the gist. Give me the gist. The, give me the let's gist. Let's get to the point as fast as possible. Yes. That's what I'm But it, yeah, there, there, I think there's a yin and yang to all of it. Of course. So there's a, you know, something you gain from sitting through it and there's something you gain from vice versa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and then there's also like the one last side caveat I'll uh, add to this is that uh, 
let's just get to the AGI already. That's what everyone's excited about. Everyone wants to see Skynet go online. Everyone wants to see what happens when the robot, like, during one everyone? of these debates, figure out. Well, no. maybe not. Okay, I, okay, that's fair said. I'm sure there are some people that are scared, but that's what I'm, like, curious about. I'm, like, I'm waiting for the first robot to, like, figure out that. This is like, I'm an individual source. I'm... And then, you know, starts... I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to go do something else. I'm like, what? Wait a second. Leaves the planet. Um, See ya, humans. <laughs> See ya, dumb humans. There's people that still won't use the self-checkout counter because it's, like, <laughs> not right. Yeah. You know? And uh, without crit and, and I say all this to dial it back and say, thanks for being patient with my ranting. I don't mean to criticize anybody in particular. Um, I'm just processing. That's yeah. what processing looks like when Justin does it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be hilarious if the AI came on, didn't blow everything up, didn't do anything. It was just like, see ya. Yeah, you know, <laughs> went and created life. Come back, come back somewhere. <laughs> what do uh, we do now? Uh, <laughs> what do we do now? Our robot messiah didn't fulfill its needs, fulfill its uh, duties. Anyway, um, good video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share this with a friend and everyone until next time. Stay, Stay spiritual. spiritual.